everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Gusty Mediocre Pokemon VGC 2020 Ultra Series. Jumping on to Battle Spot playing this Pokemon VGC 2020 Ultra Series games. So, I think in the last episode I, I said I was going to use that team for another episode, but that episode is going to end up going up on Friday, so it just feels like because it's Monday, might as well start with a new team, and we're going to uh, be using dual primals. So... We're going to find our first opponent with Ray Ogre, possible dual Mega in the Metagross. And because of the presence of that Serena there, it does make me wonder if that is either or both Choice Scarf, uh, Kyogre, or um, uh, what's Choice Band, Rayquaza, because both those things don't like to be faked out. So the fact that they're bringing Serena makes me think, maybe. So what do I like in this battle? I think Gengar is pretty good. Do I want both my primals? Do I want both my primals? I really think I do. And I think I want Incineroar. So I think you, um, Intimidate is very good. I think I want to lead Incineroar. And maybe I lead Incineroar. Uh, I think I want Coco. Coco does seem pretty good, but so does Gengar. Okay, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. This team does not, I don't believe, have a Tailwind mode, which for me personally is a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I really like Tailwind. Um, I'm not as good with Trick Room. So, kind of figuring out the ins and outs of this team is going to be interesting. And I, I do plan to build my own Dual Primal. Okay. So, we're going to see right now, are you Scarf? Yes. You are Scarf. Okay, so... I feel like our Scarf-Kyogre matchup is really bad. And there's so many things my opponent can go for. Here. So do they switch in the Rayquaza? Do they switch in the Serena? There are just so many options that my opponent can go for. What's safe for me? I really don't want to lose Groudon, but I also really don't want to lose Incineroar. Is Incineroar more important than Groudon? Is Gengar the least important Pokemon here? Kind of feels like it is. I'm gonna go fake out into the Kyogre and Water Spout. Okay, but what but what comes in? Okay, it is just Serena. Okay, that's fine. So I could have sw sw swapped in Grout on there. That's good to know. I could have super easily swapped in Grout on there. I'll bring in and I guess I will origin pulse here I think Okay. Okay. So there they predicted Groudon to come in. There they predicted Groudon to come in. 
So, so I don't know if Gengar takes this. I'm not sure how bulky this Gengar is. Oh, okay. We, we take that actually pretty decently. We really take that pretty decently. Okay, we, and we hit both Origin Pulses, so that's really nice. Okay. That does, a uh, some damage. Um... I think there's no downside to sludge bombing the Rayquaza, and... No. I could just double protect here, but I do think I'm gonna shadow ball the Kyogre. No, I'm gonna sludge bomb the Kyogre. If I can get this in in time, and ice beam the Rayquaza. Okay. I just want to see if Rayquaza protects here. And now I can also switch in my... Okay, you just e-speed. I don't think Water Spout takes us out from here. No, it doesn't. Okay. So that's certainly nice. Yeah. Okay, so now Rayquaza's down. That's nice. So now I can switch in Groudon semi-freely, I think? Okay, Incineroar comes in. That's no surprise. Um, I guess I will protect my Kyogre here. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I'll protect my Kyogre here. Oops, as I fall off my chair. I also want to apologize for the horrendous lighting. I am recording at night, and I, sw I am not a night person. I am not a night owl. I never record at night, because I rely very heavily on, like, the natural light. My window's right over there. So, hence the terrible lighting. So, sorry about that, everybody. Okay, what did... Okay. Yep, that makes sense. And you are Incinium? I want to say? Yeah, this is definitely going to be Incinium, so I do have to cut this out. Who's it going into? Rar. Oh, it's going into Kyogre. Okay, so Kyogre probably Dunzos. By probably, I mean definitely Dunzo. Kyogre! Ya beast! Ya beast! Um, I think I can Precipice Blades and probably Ice Beam the Incineroar for some chip damage. Okay, Incineroar is the one that switches. That is totally fine. So I'm glad I Ice Beamed. Nope. Wow, that did so much damage. That did so, so much damage. Okay, but he has Pinchberry, which isn't ideal. Can we hit these blades? Nice. Okay, that does really nice damage. Um, so this turn, I think I probably just double protect. Do I want to switch in my Gengar for the Groudon, so I'm not at minus one? I don't- oh, he is faint, doesn't he? 
he could very well have faint. I think this is safer. I think Groudon is my win con. And I don't want to be intimidated. Okay, but you just fake out. That's fine. And you faint the Kyogre. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. This is fine, though, because this next turn, I can just Sludge Bomb Precipice Blades. And I think that's all she wrote. I think. I'm actually shocked we won that one. Well, I- okay, Precious Blades can still miss a ton of times, so I should not count anything before it happens. I should definitely not count anything before it happens. But I think it's- as long as we don't miss, and he doesn't- as long as he doesn't crit a couple Darkest Lariats and we miss, like, two... Precipice Blades. Uh, it's happened. I shouldn't say anything. I should not say anything. I've just jinxed us. I have absolutely just jinxed us. Why would I say that? Well, regardless of whether we do end up winning or losing, I'm just surprised we were, a we were able to be put into this uh, favorable position, I will say. Um, so hopefully we can hit Yay, Groudon! The best beast in the world! And, yep, that is single target, so... And because he's Incinium, he may not be the bulkiest, so we are actually gonna take that one, and... I am shocked. I am shocked. Like, I know I just... I, I, I'm trying to work on my commentating, and this was definitely not my finest hour. I know I just sat there like this... For at least a minute. Just trying to think. I need to work on saying what I'm thinking. And I think I've gotten better overall in the past, you know, like, year or so when I've really been working on it. Because I've really been consistently uploading for all of 2019. Um, so... I... That was not my finest hour, though. That was definitely not my finest hour. I need to work on talking out what I'm seeing. But definitely a very interesting team. Um, and we, it was Scarf Kyogre, so I'm, I am happy that I was I, at least able to identify that in Team Preview. Ooh. Okay. I think... Bronzong is really good here, honestly. I think... Um, hmm... I'm just, a, I'm just a very unfamiliar with matchups and with this team. So, I do think I want both my weather plus Bronzong. I don't know how fast I am. That's the thing. I don't know the speeds on these Pokemon. I don't know the speeds. But right now, what I'm thinking is Primals, um, Incineroar, because I think Intimidate is really handy, and Bronzong. But I might not want to set up Trick Room because of that Amoongus. So in that case, I'd want Coco. Yeah? Because I really don't want to be put to sleep. I'm going to go Incineroar. Kyogre, I think. Groudon, Bronzong in the back. We'll see. I am not confident about this one. I am definitely not confident about this one. I think I definitely have the tools to beat this- to, to beat uh, the opposing team. I'm just not sure if I brought the right Pokemon or I'm going about this with the right game plan. So we're gonna lead our Incineroar and Kyogre. And my opponent leads Incineroar Rayquaza. Okay. So, not terrible. I get a very handy Intimidate off on both of their physical, more than likely physical type attackers. He gets an Intimidate off. Okay, my Incineroar is faster. I see that. I'm paying attention. It's either a speed tie or I'm faster. Also, this is, like, not doing well. Sorry about that editing. Um...
So we do we trade fake outs? Because I'm very tempted to protect Kyogre in U-turn. Into my Bronzong. But do, did are they packing a Moongus Xerneas in the back? Um, is it bad if I protect... I'm gonna protect, I think. I don't know if this is too passive. This feels, like, very, very passive. Okay. Amoongus? Tapu Fini, okay. Yeah, this is, uh, totally fine. Unless you're Taunt Tapu Fini, then it's not totally fine. Because I'm definitely going to Trick Room and bring my Incineroar back in. I think. Okay. That does really good damage. Are you Life Orb? You're not Life Orb. Wow. Okay. Oh, I forgot to check. Is this Bronzong Heatproof or Levitate? That's what I need to check. Okay. Load. There we go. Um, I Now I know where to look. I'm not going to be stupid. It's Levitate. Nice. So I'm going to go for the Trick Room. I'm going to switch my Incineroar back in. Okay, Rayquaza switches. That makes sense. Incineroar coming in. Yeah. I am more than fine with that. Okay, you light screen, that's fine. And I will trick room. Um, I'm gonna gravity here. I don't have gravity? No! That's so bad. Why would I not have gravity? The heck? The heck? So, if his Incineroar is going for U-turn, he should go first. Because we're under Trick Room, and I do believe he was slower. Oof, that's doing nothing. Nope. He didn't go first. Huh. Um, I guess I will bring in Kyogre here. Um, or do I want to bring in Groudon? I'm really, really scared of the Scald play into the Incineroar. Like, you U-turn and you Scald. So are we speed tying this whole time? Um, so I do think Groudon is super useful in this match. I'm gonna go Groudon, I think. I'm gonna do the not safe play and probably get bitten for it. And probably get bitten for it. Yeah, I'm so nervous. Okay. Oh good, he flare blitzes. That's fine then. Take it, but 
but not well. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Skill swap ally switch trick room. Interesting. Um. Do I double to the, into that Incineroar slot? What hidden power is this? I'm hoping it's ice. I don't think this is going to be enough to take Rayquaza down. Which is unfortunate. So I think in that case... Nope, oh god, I'm not going to get it in time. Oh god. I think I got Precipice Blades in at least, but yeah, so this is gonna be Ray. Yep. But we'll get some nice damage off. And we do hit the Feeny. Let's see how... That does good damage. That does really good damage. Ooh, and we live in. That's some good stuff. Um. I could double the Rayquaza, but I think I'll just press this blades again. Because I'll still get, um. I will still get Kyogre in. So that'll do some decent damage. But I don't think I played this one particularly well. I really- if we had gravity- so when I build my team, my Bronzong's gonna have gravity. Cause I think it's a huge mistake to not have gravity, honestly. I really, really do. If we had gravity, I think this game would be so- like, we could've taken- we could've done a lot of damage to the Rayquaza. Like, a lot of damage. Um, okay, I'm gonna bring in Incineroar. Yeah, if we had Gravity, this game would be a lot better, because uh, I want to say two Gyro Balls and a Precipice Blades takes out the Rayquaza. So, the Ray would be down. Um... Have you revealed your last mon? How many turns of trick room do I have left? Also. One. Okay. So Rayquaza protects here, I think. Um. Oh yeah, they have revealed all four mons. Okay. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. Um. Should probably just... Could fake out the Feeny. I'll just fake out and Water Spout. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I should have called that and faked out the Feeny, but that's okay. I think. Definitely should have called that and faked out the Feeny. Yeah, so this game, not as good. Oh, we also has Light Screen up. This is not taking out the Feeny. Ooh, it is! Was that a crit on the Feeny? What? Yeah, okay, there it is. Yep. Okay, well, we are going to make a... We're gonna make it... We're not gonna be 4 owed We're gonna come back. Yeah, so... Gravity. This team needs gravity. Absolutely. Um, hopefully I will have enough time to make my own team before the next episode. Because I think... I'm, like, I know I said it, but I think if this team had gravity, it'd be so much better. We, we, we would have taken out the Rayquaza. Easily t taken out the Rayquaza. I think it should be gravity, trick room, gyro ball, and hypnosis. I, I, th th that's what I personally like. Just to be completely honest. That's definitely what I like. Um... Okay, and I think that this there's a good chance this is Banded Rayquaza. I don't think we've seen it protect once, and it's been switching out. Uh, 
Um, yeah, so that's not a surprise that, that took out. Maybe it's not banded, but I'm just surprised by how much that did. I'm really surprised by how much that did. So definitely well played to my opponent. They saved their Xerneas very, very well. But again, this I think this game would have been very different with gravity. Uh, very, very different. But you know, that's what happens. Like when you use a QR code team, it's not going to be exactly the way you build it so that you can try out different things. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But in trying it out, I realized that I want, I really want, um, I really want gravity. Like, really want gravity. Okay, Kyogre, you did the best you could, bud. You did the best you could. Go down with honor. Um, okay, so good to, we, okay. Oh, it's, okay, so it's not banded at all. What, what are you? You're not Life Orb. Are you a Salt Fest? I think a, a Salt Fest would have taken that Ice Beam better. So I have no idea what this thing is. It's not Pinchberry either. Sash? Was it Sash this whole time? Sash with Earth, earth Power? Because tr traditionally you see Sash with um, Swords Dance, Extreme Speed, and Dragon Ascent and Protect. But uh, really well played to my opponent. Hopefully I will have time to build my own version of this before I record next because... Gravity, man. Gravity is very, very important. So, um, I don't think it, we would have necessarily definitely won with gravity, but we could have gravitied uh, Presbus Blades, and then we could have, because um, the Misty, uh, what, what am I trying to say? Misty Surge ran out. Misty Terrain! That's the word. See, you can tell I'm recording at night, because I can't freaking think. Um, the Misty Terrain wore off, so we could have been... Uh, hypnosising things. So that's personally what I like at the moment. I do think skill swap definitely has, has its place. I think skill swap can be very, very good, but in particular when, when you're playing with one weather. I think it's slightly less important when you're playing with both weathers, but I want to try out the Bronzong, the Bronzong set I just said, and then we'll go from there if it's terrible and I'm like, man, I wish I had skill swap. Skill swap would have won me this game. Then we'll put on skill swap. But anyway, um... Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Not exactly none of that. And I do hope that everybody is having an above average day.